I'm Chuck Somerville, and I wrote the first version of Chips Challenge and created the game. I'm also co-founder of Niffler Limited. I had this idea for a game that I always wanted to do, so I built a prototype of it at home on my own spare time. Then I got the green light to go ahead and do it for the Lynx. So I made the game and then we put it out there and it was a huge success. So I decided to try to do a sequel to Chip's Challenge since it was so successful. And I got permission to go ahead with that. And I worked for like two years really hard, got it all published, got it just the way I wanted it, went back to the people that owned the name and just found out that they wanted me to upfront all the marketing costs and they asked for $100,000 or so in advance. I couldn't afford that. I was really sad about it for a long time and I decided eventually to just move on and count it as one of his life's lessons. It wasn't going to happen. Niffler is an independent game studio that I co-founded along with some friends of mine, Barn Cleave and Kevin Furry. Well, there's lots of exciting things going on in development right now. You can get funding through groups like Kickstarter. And with digital distribution, it's easy to get the game out there. And with mobile devices, there are even more game players out there than ever. Well, we thought about that, so we looked into it. And Barnes spent months negotiating with the rights owners. but turned out that now they wanted even more money than they wanted 20 years ago. And it just wasn't reasonable. Our only option really was to sell the game for 50 bucks and give 40 of it to the uh, rights owners just so that we could have the name Chip instead of Chuck. First, the title wasn't suggested by me, it was suggested by the team. So I went with it. Chuck's Challenge is a Chips Challenge style game with the same types of philosophies but for mobile devices like the iPhone and the iPad. But it's got some great new features like the ability to undo, it's got a built-in level editor, and you can share the levels you create with your friends. You use some of the new uh, technologies like cloud-based computing and rapid development for mobile devices. We're doing a Kickstarter project to raise money to take the iPhone version and move it over to the PC and to the Macintosh. The PC and Mac version are written in a Unity engine, which is a, an industry standard for gaming development. So it looks really good. Uh, if Chuck's Challenge is successful, we'll also move it to other platforms like, say, the Android. Well, this is the red shirt, and what happened was the art team for Chuck's Challenge tried me in a variety of different outfits, and the Hawaiian shirt was one of them. And they liked it the best, and so did I. What they didn't know was that I already had a red shirt that looked just like it. So it was kind of a chicken and an egg kind of thing. So we all laughed about it and thought, yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> now I'm going to get the giggles. <laughs> 